Mittens in the Mazda Bongo start getting into Mitten. These are actually working fine, going down but then going up. You've got to really push the thing in that's going up that far. The first thing to do is take the switches out. The first thing to do is take these switches out and give them a clean either with some emery paper or very fine sandpaper, clean the contacts or with some contact cleaner, possibly even WD-40. Sometimes you can get a little watchmaker screwdriver under there and pop out the bottom. Oops. Popping out the top is a lot harder and what I found is actually taking off this panel here, two for held on my two Phillips screws, um, makes it a little bit easier just to push that out. So, make your life a lot easier in the future if you put a little bit of oil or lithium grease on the clips and it will come out much easier in the future. Again, to get the switch out in theory, you click the switch up and then slot a screwdriver. You can unhook the bottom bit, but I've always found it's really difficult to unhook the top bit without removing that panel and actually pushing it out with your hand. And to do that, you just squeeze in this white tab here and it should come off pretty easily. To say these contacts at first glance look pretty clean to me, we'll give them a little clean anyway. Just got to wedge a watchmaker screwdriver down there on one side to get the green tabs out, and then whoops, and then flip it over to the other side and just work the screwdriver around and get both those tabs out. Do it carefully so you don't drop the bits inside. Good grit. Um, fine sandpaper and it helps if you wrap it around something like a um, Jenga block or something flat so that when you come to um, sand down the contacts you're doing it evenly so just make sure you get all the corrosion or dirt off those contacts and also double check those contacts as well. Clean the contacts it's just a matter of putting this piece back on I just run a little bit of oil in the inside of it there and at the top so the top slides on nice and easily. It's useful if you open one switch at a time so you can remember which way around they go for up and down. What we have to do now is we install them in the van and see if they work. Switches only fit in the van one way and that groove in the um, green plastic there corresponds to the clip. Both switches are the same so they should just slide in nice and easily. Plugs just before you click them into their housing it's a good idea to start the van and just make sure that they actually started. Work. Let's the moment of truth. Okay, that's working. Up and down, straight away on that side now without any hesitation. Let's try the other switch. Look at that. So there you have it. If you've got uh, intermittent switches, take the switches apart, clean the contacts. When you finish, just, <coughs> excuse me, they should just click in one, two, whoops. And somewhere we've got the central section, which also just clicks in. I always put a little bit of oil on these before I put them back in. So if you ever need to take them out again, or they come out really easily. Job done.